but we also have the renewable diesel on the market now. That's coming out, that's what's replacing the biodiesel and that is really changing things up. I, I'm, I'm excited to see it because finally I think we've got to a point where, where we really know what we're doing, but there are some issues with it. And one of the issues you have with renewable diesel is uh, lubricity. It's terrible for lubricity. It also does not work with anti-gels. There, currently there is no anti-gel made that will work with the renewable diesel, even ours. Now, all of our products say renewable diesel approved because they are, and the, the components work with that, but they won't work as an anti-gel. So what you're seeing is people are running a 20% renewable with an 80% petroleum base. Then you can get the, the effects of the anti-gel on 80% of it but you're also starting at a warmer temperature with the renewable. About 10 degrees is where they start for failure rate for cold weather operation. So you are gonna see a reduced temperature which you can run safely.